for the lab we are gonna be using a pen test tool called OWAP SAPS so let's take a look at it first so um, this is um, um, like you've heard earlier it's an open source um, pen test tools and it does uh, scan um, like um, vulnerability scanning so um, uh, we're gonna be downloading it so I have already downloaded uh, so for you uh, please choose all the installer for your platform and um, I will uh, show you what it looks like so the OAP saps um, it's going to take a little bit um, for opening it. Okay, so when you install, um, you're going to see um, something like this. And um, so it's going to be something like this. And it might ask for, um, for you if you want to save session or not. You can choose no, not to save session. So when you got SAP, um, another thing that we are going to be downloading is OWAP Juice Shop. Um, the OWAP Juice Shop is a web application that it was um, developed to have a lot of vulnerable, uh, a lot of weakness. So this is um, a web application um, that was meant for learning how to do pen test. So um, go to um, this juice shop you can actually go to OWAP juice shop as well let me go OWAPS and then juice shop so this is um, the juice shop from the OWAPS um, website um, it tells you a bit about um, the, the juice shop it looks like this um, it's like um, looks like a dark theme with um, um, product juice for you to buy and you can lock in and register and lock in and stuff like that and it has a lot of vulnerability so we're gonna be um, installing this so that we can um, see how the OWAP SAP pen test tool can detect um, the vulnerability to install um, that the, the other web, web this one tell, tells you how to install so um, this is it to install there are a couple way of doing it um, I discourage you from using Heroku because you know it, it's gonna take a while to um, to do testing but you can use like the, the local and to install there are three different ways you can clone the source and you can build and then you can um, build using npm install here you have to install Node.js first and um, clone it and, and do like this. You go to CD Juice Shop and then install npm start and then um, the Juice Shop is going to be on localhost 3000. Another way to do is to download the, the package or the compiled version and um, you can like run npm start um, without compiling with npm install. Um, the third way is to install through Docker. Um, so you just pull, do Docker pull like this. Um, I assume you should have learned from Docker from other class. Um, and if you use Docker, it's the easiest way is to do it to use Docker. So just install Docker first, and then do Docker pull, and then do Docker run like just exactly like this. And then you can um, go to of the local host 3000 and, and, and look at the juice shop. Um, I have tried um, from source that this doesn't work for my computer. I tried uh, the because of the, the version of the node and stuff like that it just could have some conflict. I tried distributed um, distribution the compile version it works it works but then again I try docker it's easier it's easier with docker so I'm just gonna try this. I, I have already pulled it. So um, I can just, uh, um, actually let me start Docker. It's not even started yet. 
So to install Docker, you have to install um, Docker Desktop. Um, so Docker is like a virtual machine, similar to virtual machine. Um, it's a tool for you to um, um, like run an environment, like any environment on your computer the easiest way. Um, to download, you have to um, go to Docker Desktop. Right, so actually go to Docker Desktop. And there's Docker Desktop for um, Windows and, and for Mac. So you um, choose uh, whatever you need. Uh, actually for, for Windows, um, it's harder because you need to install, you need to do some configuration with the Hyper-V. So um, when you download for Windows, just uh, make sure actually you have to look at the um, the install Docker on window. It has um, a lot of different um, the documentation that you have to set up before um, um, installing it. So it's a little harder for window, but for, for Mac it is very easy. So so I actually recommend the the actually you, you should try out and see which one works. It's gonna take quite a while to install because it, you might run into problems. But with Docker, if you already have Docker, that, that would be no problem. So my Docker started already. So I'm just gonna, I already did the pool, but let, let me show you. Um, So it's already there, it's already up to date because I already pulled. So now I'm going to do just to run. I'm just going to run a juice shop and um, it's going to be running on localhost 3000. Okay, it's already run. So if I to localhost 3000, um, it's going to take quite a while. Okay, now it's, it's uh, um, a little too quick okay so now the juice shop is here um, it has a lot of vulnerability so it looks like this and um, you can you know uh, go click at the juice that you want to buy here and then you can do review and stuff like that and you can search like if you want um, carrots then search here carrot and you can do like um, log in and um, register and stuff like that. So um, that's quite a complete website, but it is not secure. Um, so uh, please install um, a web set. Look like this and then install um, juice shop. And then in the next video, we're going to um, be looking at the, the, the SAP and, and do some uh, scanning for the juice shop.